an East Tennessee man known for his love of weather and his watchful eye. He was honored today. 10 News meteorologist Tavian Whitehurst shares the memory of Steve Norris. I mean, you are the weather word here. Well, just about everybody gives me a lot of good comments. Just about everybody I talk to and uh, everybody says I'm one of the best. Over a year after his passing in 2022, local weather legend Steve Norris is getting recognition in Crossville, Tennessee. A rainy Friday morning cleared out just in time for the dedication ceremony where a plaque was placed on his former workspace in downtown Crossville. It marks his life as a friend, community member, and meteorologist for area radio stations and newspapers, including here at WBIR. He often called in to inform fellow legend Margie Eisen on the skies in the plateau. After the dedication and the reveal of the new plaque in his honor, I was chatting with people who attended, friends and family, and it became clear that everybody in Crossville and Cumberland County, they knew Steve, they loved Steve, they have some kind of story that really shows his tenacity as a person, but most importantly, they relied on Steve to keep them safe during those scary times. I'm a big chicken when it comes to bad weather. I would call him from my house late night and go, are we all going to die? He said, no, Tony, it's going to go around us. It's going to go over. It's not that bad. He was my assurance along with everybody else's. Tony Perry was Steve's radio host from WAEW Radio and a good friend all these years later. He was the one who answered the phone when a 17-year-old Steve called into the station offering a forecast for the incoming storms. This wasn't the first time Steve made life work in his favor. At first glance, some may call him disabled, but it's clear he never thought that way himself. What a, what a treasure. Steve began on air forecasting, as you heard, when he was a teenager. Again, he died in 2022 from complications from pneumonia. Obviously well loved and remembered in that community.